Hey kids, how's everybody out there in YouTube land? Thought I'd make a video and uh, just flipping around looking at some various stuff and man look what I found. Tempt me not Satan. This is a almost identical twin to the Lily 2 that I sailed from Ohio down to Florida a few years back. And uh, this is her sister ship, a Cal 229 which is just about identical. Uh, this one's had an upgraded engine. It's got a, a Perkins 104, so it's a gasoline powered engine. Um, no refrigeration. Tiller steering, not wheel. Guy wants $3,500 for it. The boat's been sitting on the hard for 15 years. Um, it's sitting in a cradle in Wapakoneta, Ohio. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm, I'm not going to buy this boat, folks. I'm just saying you that, but wow, 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 wow. I was attempting to look at that and dream again, dream once again about taking it down and selling it down to, 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 uh, to Florida. I would love to do that trip again. I really would. Sad to say, but I really would like to do that. That was a fun trip. Um, uh, anyhow, let me describe it for you here. So... The first thing we're going to take a look at, I guess, will be the front of the boat, or just the, the outside of the boat. And uh, it, is, uh, it is a rather, um, it's a rather pretty boat. I mean, it really is. It's a rather pretty boat. The guy has got it in, uh, in pretty good shape. It has all of the bells and whistles and things uh, uh, that the other cow had. Um, it does not have its um, sail track, the, the track that you, you cook your, your boom down to. It doesn't have that where the cow was, my cow was, the Lily 2 was. This is right there in the companion way, which I don't really care for because if you have it set up dead center, it's blocking your way of getting in and out of the companion way, which on my last trip proved to be something that was a bit of a disaster. But, but in any event, you can see here, beautiful blue hull, looks great in the water that picture is 16 years old so a lot has happened during that time here's a picture of the sail track that i mentioned you see it going through the companion way here's what it looks like now you see this sitting in the guy's yard all covered up wrapped up in a cradle in wapakoneta now he said 15 years ago when he had it towed from lake erie to his place in wapakoneta he paid almost a thousand dollars to have it trucked that far um Anyhow, you can see the uh, the entryway coming down. That's what that's what my cow was supposed to look like, but it has suffered so much rot from being on the drive for ten years and not being properly covered uh, that the stairs and stuff had broken up and rotted away. So I had to rebuild all that. Here you can see the the galley setup, the ice box, and the stove. That's the same setup that mine had. Only uh, I took out the the alcohol stove. And I just replaced it with a simple camp, you know, camp stove. Uh, I, you know, propane bottle camp stove, which just proved a whole lot simpler and easier for me. Uh, here's it showing it flying a spinnaker. Um, pretty nice. Let's take a look inside. Uh, here's a picture of the 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 V berth, which looks pretty good. Here's a picture of the Perkins 104. That's a gasoline powered engine. Just like mine, it's got an engine battery and a, and, and a house battery. Uh, but like I said, no refrigeration, uh, no hot water heater. Um, it does have a marine head, uh, which mine did eventually. I put one back into it. Uh, but if you remember, uh, originally it didn't have a head in it. And I had to add, a, I just built a plywood box and a bucket to start out with. And here's a regular one hooked up to the tank, just like I eventually got mine to once I got down to Florida. Uh, I'll tell you what, you know, it would be a good project for somebody that wanted to take on a project like that. Me personally, um, I'm not interested in that boat anymore, but boy, it sure does make the old heart dream, don't it? Anyhow, kids, I'll have more for you here in the near future. Be good, be careful, take good care of one another, and we'll see you then. Bye.